Hey everyone, Colton Carnival here with Fast Crafts. We are really excited to announce the release of version 4.6.0. In this version, we did some bug fixes, but the main thing I'm going to highlight is the changes to the new screening tool and portfolio review system. So many of you have been asking, how can you find companies that look like this? specifically with earnings that grow like this and look like this. Well, I'm really excited to announce that in the screening tool, we now have the ability for you to find companies that look like that. So in the new screening tool, you'll notice a whole redesign of the filters. We've added a lot more data items, so you can now screen on every single metric that we provide in the dropdown. And each one of these metrics have items underneath like the price to metric, the yield, and then these three new persistency score related items. So for example, the way to use this is if I choose adjusted EPS persistency score and choose a high score of 80%, then if I choose EPS growth score, which this is the percentage of years that the EPS has grown positively, so make this one high again, and then years of adjusted EPS, so this would be setting the minimum years of history needed to meet this filter. So for example, setting it as 15 would be companies that have 15 years of data or more. It would exclude younger companies that are only, you know, one, two, three years old, anything under 15 years of data. And I run this query. I'm now given all of these companies with adjusted earnings EPS scores greater than 80 and that match the rest of these. So some of these have 100%, some of them are 99%, so on, and some of them are down to 86. So using 100%, if we look at MO, that now gives me a company with a orange line and adjusted EPS that looks like this. You know, SO is another one, 97%. That gives me SO with an adjusted earnings score like this. Now it's not taking into any growth right now, growth rate. It just matters that the company is persistent. So we have these persistency scores on, like I said, all of the metrics that we have available. So you can mix them with any metrics. You can use specific metrics like net operating cash flow or EBITDA or sales only. We even have it applied to the dividends. Underneath historic, we have all of the metrics available as well as estimated, we have all of the metrics available. We also have this new regions tab. The regions tab is how you limit companies specifically to the region that you're looking in. So for example, I'm limited to United States stocks only. If I wanted all of Europe to be included in there, I could click just the top and select everything or specifically companies within Europe. And if I rerun this query, I will get all companies within United States and Europe that match the persistency score, growth score, and number of years of EPS that I've selected. This data is also available now in the portfolio review. So the portfolio review is very similar in look to the screening tool, except for the fact that you're not able to screen the entire database. It's just a, an ability for you to look at your portfolio and the data within your portfolio. So for example, I could go to EPS and select these three items here, hit create, and I'll have these three items selected. And this is the earnings persistency score, growth score, and years EPS for these companies that are in this portfolio. So once again, 100% for MO, ABV has 92%, OMC has 86% and so on. One other additional feature we've added to this release is better information regarding the transactions in your portfolio. So now under the transactions tab, you'll see total shares, average cost, total cost, market value, and total return. This is based off of all the transactions that you've added into your portfolio, no matter if you have a couple transactions, buys or sells or any of it. And remember, these transactions are always available as well underneath any part of the historicals and financial section by clicking on this dollar sign up in the top right corner. This will give you the transactions for the specific stock in that specific portfolio. If you leave that portfolio, the transactions will not be available. Or if you go to a different portfolio that that stock is in, a different set of transactional information will be provided based on that portfolio.
those are the major updates for this release. We're really excited. We believe it'll help you really be able to find good companies and, and make better investments. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at any time. Thanks.